If anyone doubts former President Donald Trump's dictatorial aspirations, we just have to look at how they're changing the narrative and making the plausibility of a a, a Nazi-style state a possibility so that when they throw it onto you, it's not so much of a shock anymore. When they talk about unified Reich, understand what they're saying. They're serious about it. The president, the former president is serious about it. Check this out. We'll take it on the other side. Shared a video about how, how they seem to think the United States will change if Trump is elected president again. There's, of course, nothing abnormal there necessarily. Political candidates talk about their visions for the country all the time. They're running for office. That's the point. What is not normal is that this video referenced a quote unquote unified Reich. Reich is a German word that basically means empire, but it, of course, evokes the Third Reich, used to refer to Adolf Hitler's Nazi Germany. We're going to show you that video. It's going to sound a little strange. We edited it to freeze and zoom in on the term so that you can easily spot it. So you'll hear this video start, and then when the sound stops, you'll be able to see what we're talking about. Watch this. What happens after Donald Trump wins? What's next for America? So there you go. It's pushing in on, it says there, you can see the phrase, quote, industrial strength significantly increased and driven by the creation of a unified Reich. So the Trump campaign spokesman, Carolyn Levitt, telling CNN, the video was not created by the campaign and was reposted by a staffer who didn't see the word. Kate Bedingfield, that's a, uh, a way to put it. The Biden campaign said this, quote, Donald Trump is not playing games. He is telling America exactly what he intends to do if he regains power, rule as a dictator over a unified Reich. The AP says at least one of the headlines flashing appears to be text copied verbatim from a Wikipedia entry on World War I, quote, German industrial strength and production had significantly increased after 1871, driven by the creation of a unified Reich. Um, but this language is uh, is quite specific. Yeah. Well, look, the, the problem here is this comes in the context of other things that Donald Trump has said along these lines. So, folks, we don't have any excuse. The guy is the guy has consistently told us what he's all about. And he's he, he's slick about it because he wants to constantly tell us these things, make have people vote for him. Uh, even as he says these things, so that when he does it, it doesn't seem like a shocker and it's more easily done. It's almost the same technique used by many types of uh, medical procedures where you get, or, or you know, type drug-induced procedures where you, you, co you constantly give the patient a little bit of this toxin, a little bit of this toxin, each time a little bit more so that they develop a resistance to it. Or that proverbial frog in warm water, you raise the water so slightly that by the time the frog knows it's in trouble, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> it's have already started to cook. Now, some people say that's not a real thing, but it is a, it is in, you know, humanity. When things are very gradual and changing, over time, this change is huge. And we notice it from point A to point B. But on the ascent from point A to point B, if it is shallow and long, one doesn't quite see it. That's why the corruption that Trump has done to the morals of his people, the people who follow him, it doesn't seem so strange to them because it was a slow ramp since tw uh, before 2015, a slow ramp of this uh, evil decadence that we're talking about. So, folks, beware. It is time for us to. Take the mantra and move forward, expose this guy for who he is, and make sure he's never, ever coming close to being in that White House again. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.